Hello everybody, this is Cody from GG Servers, and today I'm going to show you how to install plugins on your Minecraft server. First, make sure that your server is running on Spigot or Paper. Remember that vanilla servers cannot run plugins. In this tutorial, we're going to be using Paper. Also, keep in mind that plugins and data packs are different. While you need a plugin server to run plugins, with data packs, you can run it with any type of server. If you're curious on how to do that, we have a video in the description below. Check it out. To change your server to a paper server, click the server type drop down at the bottom and then search paper and then the version that you want you will select. And then click yes to install it and then now you can choose whether to keep the current world or to create a new world. After that's done click ok and there we go it should change the server to paper. Now you can go ahead and start the server by clicking start at the top and then let's go to the console to see if everything's working. Everything's looking good so far. So now we should have a plugins folder where we can install plugins on our server. Perfect. Now I'm going to show you how you can use the plugin installer to automatically install plugins on your server. Go back and then go to the side menu, click installers, and then click plugin installer. And here you can search for any plugin that you want to install. So I'm going to search essentials, which is probably the most common plugin you can install. I'm going to click essentials X, and then now at the bottom right I can click install. As a note, always be sure to verify the version of the plugin that you're installing to make sure that it's compatible with the server version that you have. Now that the plugin is installed though, go ahead and restart the server for it to actually go into effect. Let's go back to the console now to make sure everything is looking good as well. Looks good, we see a bunch of messages from Essentials, so that's how we know it works. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do a manual plugin installation. First stop the server, and then go to Files, and then FTP File Access. Now we need to copy the FTP details that will go into FileZilla. So first let's copy the FTP address, go back to FileZilla, and then put it into the host. Now we'll go back, copy the username, and then put that into the username field on FileZilla. There we go, so now you can put your password for your account, and then go ahead and connect. Click OK. And there we go, we can see the files for the server, so go into the plugins folder. And then we can drag and drop our plugin files into that folder. So it's usually going to be a jar file. There we go. It's now uploaded to our server. So now we can go back to our server on the panel and then click start or restart if it's already started. Your server should now start with your awesome new plugin that you just installed. So make sure to check the console to make sure there's no errors or anything like that. But so far it looks great. And that's it. So now you have learned how to install plugins on your server. If you find this video helpful, please consider giving a like and subscribing to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a good day.